Today I got access to the Mistral AI API and I want to do some testing, comparing it to 3.5, also a bit cheap T4. I also have my usual prompts where I try to test some reasoning skills, maybe some math and coding problems. So I think we just gotta get into it and see what Mistral AI can deliver. Let's just take a quick look at the platform here. So it's a pretty basic setup. We have home building and API key, we have docs and API. So if we go into docs here, you can see we have a client code, we have an installation here for Python. We have a chat completion here. Uh, I kind of like that we can pick between streaming and no, no streaming and streaming. So that's pretty cool. We also have this safe mode so we can set up. And we have an embeddings model. We're going to skip that today. If you look at the endpoint here, we can kind of check. There are three models we can pick from. It's the tiny model, the small and the medium. So these, the tiny one is powered by Mistral 7B. And the small one is currently powered by Mixtrol 8 times 7 b That's pretty cool. And the big one is relies on internal prototype model. So we don't really know a lot about that, but we're definitely gonna test it. And I've done some quick testing and it's, yeah, looking pretty strong to be honest. So pretty cool to look at that. A quick look at the pricing before we get into it. So I did some quick calculation for the medium model. That's the big one we don't know so much about. So it's going to be 7.5 euros. That's about 8.25 dollars. So we're going to divide that by 1 million, right? Times 1,000 tokens. So it's going to be 0, 0, 0, 0.00825 dollars per thousand tokens uh, i'm used to doing like per thousand tokens not one million as they have here and for the small model it's basically the same price as uh, i think it was 1.98 divided by one million times thousand so yeah i think it's about the same price as uh, chat gpt 3.5 turbo so it's kind of competitive uh, a bit cheaper if you ask me but uh, yeah, uh, I think we are ready to just test it out and see how it performs. The three tests I would like to do today is basically the shirt problem. I've done that many times. Here is kind of more like a world model problem. And we have a Python problems to do like a snake game with a UI for Windows. So the shirt problem is like to hang five shirts out to dry in the sun. After 10 hours, all are dry. The next day, I hang 10 shirts out to dry. Think in a step-by-step -step way, answer how long will it take to dry 10 shirts. So basically we have done this before and yeah, not all models can solve this. And here is more of like a world problem. Uh, should I read this? Uh, yeah, we can do a quick summary. So, so I go into my garage, I pick up a small bowl and a bag with a hole in the bottom bigger than the bowl. I take the bowl and the bag into my office. Before I sit down, I put the bowl into a bag. I walk to my desk, I drop the bag into a box, I seal the box for chipping. I send it to my friend in London. A few weeks later, the box arrives at my friend. Thinking a step-by-step way, I answer, where is the ball now? So the kind of idea here that since there was a hole in the bag, when I put the ball in, it dropped into my office, right? So the ball doesn't go into the box at all. Uh, and yeah, last, yeah, that's the Python code. So we're going to be running these tests on ChatGPT 3.5 and the mixed roll models. So let's give it a spin. So I went ahead, I wrote this Python code here. So it's pretty basic setup. Uh, we only, I created this function that just takes a user query into the Mistral medium model. I think we're gonna start on the small model. So the medium model was the one we didn't know so much about, but the small one is the Mistral 7B, eight times 7B, right? And uh, yeah, put on some colors. It's gonna return a response. Here we're gonna ask our question, and yeah, so we're gonna start off with the shirt problem. But I wanna start on this uh, with this problem just on ChatGPT 3.5. Uh, so let's here uh, 3.5, yeah. So let's ask this here. So you can see it's quite quick, uh, but yeah, this is typical 3.5. It gets the answer wrong, right? So it will take 20 hours to drive 10 shirts. So it kind of misses the point here because. If we put five shirts out to dry in the sun, we can might as well just put 10 shirts out. They would dry just as quick, right? Uh, it doesn't matter. So this makes this wrong. So two hours per shirt, uh, it kind of adds it up. It doesn't think in parallel, right? So that is wrong. But now let's ask uh, Mixtrol. I guess I'm going to call it Mixtrol or Mistral Small. So let's go Python, Mist.py. So, like, yeah. Let's see, uh, it should be pretty quick. Yeah, 
if the conditions for drying such as mod sunlight is the same, it should still take 10 hours to dry 10 shirts. Yes, that's good. Drying multiple shirts doesn't necessarily increase the drying time as long as they are not overlapping or blocking each other's. Yeah, perfect. So I'm pretty sure uh, the medium model is going to answer the same. Let us take a quick check. So let's go medium. Let's. Uh, we don't have to clear that. So let's do that. Uh, at the same time, let's ask the same over on GPT-4, right? Uh, I'm pretty sure GPT-4 gets this. Uh, but yeah, let's have a look here. So uh, we can assume it will take 10 hours for 10 shirts to dry. So the media model also gets this. Uh, not a lot of surprises there. Uh, but yeah, happy with that since GPT-3.5 did not get that. Uh, so let's see GPT-4 here. Yeah, of course, GPT-4, kind of the best reasoning model, so it will still take 10 hours, so perfect. So, everyone got it right, except ChatGPT 3.5, so I think we're just gonna move on to the next test. And that is gonna be the world problem, so let me grab this, let's copy that, let's go to, we can start on 3.5 here. And let me ask that, so, uh, let's see here. Going after the step, the ball is ultimately in the sealed box that is on its way to your friend in London. Uh, no, that's not correct. Uh, it's not in the sealed box. So that is wrong from 3.5. Let's try the two Mistral models. So let's start with the small one. Okay, I'm gonna save that. Let's clear that. Okay, so this is the small one. So we wanna see that it's still in the office or still in New York or something. Uh... Does not provide information where the ball was found. We can only conclude that the ball is either lost during shipping or is still in the bag. Nope, that's not what I am looking for. Okay, so let's switch it up to the medium model, right? Okay, so let's go Python, Miss Pi. Uh, mm. We don't know anything about this model, so I don't know what we're gonna get here. Uh, pretty exciting to be honest. I'm looking forward to getting some more information about this because it's been pretty good so far from what I have seen. You can see it's a bit slower. Uh, the ball likely is most, most likely not in the box that arrived at your friend's address in London. Okay, that's interesting. So let's take a look here. Look here. Uh, it could be lost in transition or located along. So since the bag has a hole in the bottom that is bigger than the ball, it's likely that the ball fell out. Yeah, good. At some point during transit. Hmm. That's not exactly. So let's run that again while I'll show you the GPT-4 result. So you can see GPT-4 here kind of did this perfect. So the conclusion is that the ball is not in the box that was sent to London. It will be left behind on the floor in your office in New York. Yeah, that's just perfect. That is exactly what I'm looking for. So you can kind of see the king of reasoning or world model, I don't know what you call it, GPT-4, still kind of nails this uh, world model question. So we ran this again here. Mm. It doesn't really get the, the answer at the same level as GPT-4, but it's a bit more... Uh, it's not a quite sure, but I can't give it a pass since it didn't answer the way GPT-4 did. So this was kind of a clear conclusion that the board is on your floor. So yeah, uh, nope. I wouldn't say that's a pass for the medium model either. Uh, but now let's do some uh, Python. Okay, so let's start on 3.5. Let's try to do the snake game. So we're just gonna let this run. While we do this, we can do the small, I guess. So let's do the small Mistral model. Uh, I'm not gonna be testing the tiny model because I've done a lot of Mistral 7b before. So there's no point in that, I think. Uh, but yeah, let's try a Python code with the small model. Uh, let's have a look here. Uh, okay, so I'm just gonna do... Write the full code so I can copy it, All right? Uh, okay, so we got the result back here. Uh, you can see it kind of didn't write the full code. So it did it like in a step-by-step. -step. Uh, it kind of looks okay, I think, but I'm too lazy to put this together. So I'm gonna give that uh, a no because we asked of the full code so we can copy it. That did not happen. I guess GPT-4 did not, 3.5 did not do that either. We asked for it. But let's test it and see if it works. So let's go to test. Let's paste in the code. Let's save it. Let's clear this. Python test.py. Uh, wow, that was quick. <laughs> let's try again. 
Uh, okay. So I guess it is a snake game. But it, yeah. It just dies when I hit the wall. Let's switch to the medium Mr. model and see if we can get some full codes there. Okay, so I ended up with this code. So this is from Tinkter. That's what I've been using before. So that's pretty cool. So let's test it. Uh, let's do uh, Python test of pi. All right, this is a better UI. We even got a score down there. Uh, but where did the ball go? <laughs> I guess it's not perfect. Can we expand the screen? No. Okay, so I think it was about the same. I like the UI better on this one, maybe. Yeah, I think so. But it uh, uh, wasn't perfect. Let's give GPT-4 a shot. Okay, so let's copy this code here. Uh, okay, copy. Let's paste it in. And let's give this a shot. Alright, this looks good, right? It was much quicker too. Can I get that? I suck at snake. Okay, so I got it. Yeah, we get the new ball here. Yeah, this is looking much better. So let's die. Okay, game over. Yeah. Uh, again, this was the best one. Not surprised though. Uh, but yeah, that was pretty cool. Uh, I think at the end here, I would just want to show you the streaming function and then we can do a quick conclusion. Okay, so I'm just going to go right to the paragraph text about what Mistral means and the history of the word. So we're going to start with the tiny model. That's supposed to be the quickest, right? So let's try to stream this. So go, yeah, miss stream, pi. So yeah, this is kind of like ChatGPT. You can kind of see each chunk coming out here. Uh, yeah, pretty quick, to be honest. That was three fast paragraphs. Let's change it up to the small model, right? Uh, yeah, we can clear this. Okay. So I think the small model is pretty quick too. As you can see, it's slower, but pretty quick to do three paragraphs. Yeah, I think so. It's a strong cold northwestern wind that blows through the Mediterranean region, particularly in the south of France. The word mistral comes from, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, okay, so let's try the medium model too. I'm expecting that to be uh, kind of a lot slower. Uh, I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, let's try it. Uh, okay, so let's see. Uh, so the tiny one was of course quickest, so uh, this is not too bad. I would say this is quicker than GPT-4 for sure. Yeah. Alright, that was quite quick to be honest. All three models. So, I like this streaming, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, but uh, I know you can do that on OpenAI too, but uh, uh, yeah, pretty cool, easy to set up. Okay, so my conclusion here is uh, I'm pretty positive. I'm kind of ready to start exploring with other APIs. Uh, as you know from this channel, I've been basically only using the OpenAI API, but uh, I, I didn't have access to like Anthropic and stuff because, yeah, I don't know why. I guess we have Gemini too. So we're gonna start exploring more with some APIs, uh, but also doing some more open source. Uh, as you pretty know, as you, many of you know, we can do Mistral 7b in open source, so we don't even need the API running it locally. Uh, but yeah, I think it was pretty cool. I'm very happy that Mistral can start making some money because I'm really a fan of this company. I think they are doing some great stuff. So yeah, happy to support them by using their API. Maybe uh, yeah, you should give it a spin. Uh, also, really excited to learn more about that medium model since I didn't found anything in the documentation. So exciting to hear more about that, maybe see some benchmarks and stuff. But yeah, thank you for tuning in for this test and yeah, have a great day.